Okay, hello dear friends. So this one we will do a painting. We went to um, we went to Henry Cole National Park, a uh, state park, and uh, I took some picture just to get inspiration. And uh, so I will I will not spend too much of your time. Just blah blah blah. I will go ahead and start to paint. So let's have a study of it. There is the sunshine here and uh, I took this picture behind this branch so the the camera was not too much was not the camera uh, lens did not get sunshine and uh, and uh, so it's a it's a balanced um, it's a balanced uh, light and sun here so you need to have a, a wide area from very bright white to slowly to slowly grading into uh, into blue right and then a lot of branches and leaves it was very 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 dry in Henry Cole so we have white color and blue color and uh, and some greenish uh, um, black and that's the color we need for today so you will need some wine I made a habit that uh, put a piece of plastic so that you can reuse I can reuse this foam board and this foam board is already not so uh, not so it's not expensive at all you you can just uh, throw it away but uh, if we can reduce uh, damaging the planet if we can reduce the um, our our consumption of our planet it will be always good so i will need white white I have some white and blue you can make your painting a little bit more colorful than this by putting different kind of blue so why not put a few more blue actually there is only one blue you, you purely purely need this is kind of a cold blue and this blue doesn't hurt to have some more blue right so we will have a little bit extravaganza of color so white in the middle starting with the right you in acrylic painting you do not leave um, leave your paper unpainted make sure it's always painted so even if it is white put color on, on it and then start to scroll over and i remember i heard one friend said oh i like your method of uh, swirling around because she does also the same method no matter you like this method or not maybe this is a cheap way of doing painting because this way you will use less paint if by just scribbling like that you will use relatively more paint this is what i feel Later, it will be covered by it will be covered by branch. So don't worry if it is not perfect. Don't worry; it will not show up that much. The important thing: you have fun with 
I'm a little bit too much in the stress. I should not be like this. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so the first we put everywhere with color and now we can scrape it a little bit. And when I do in class, some students are very, very, uh, what do I say? It's not um, like to be perfectionist and uh, cannot uh, bear the thoughts that the color is not even. They do not like it when it is not even. And don't worry, actually. Later, it will be covered up. So. Here are some uneven strokes, it's okay. It's only a background. Blending some different color. This does not look good, so blending. I paint mostly by intuition. It is the word I should use for myself. I paint you mostly by just how I feel it. Not too much by color theory and, uh, and, uh, and the things. Very, very dry brush. 
can always have a piece of testing paper. It's the best if you have the same acrylic paper, uh, 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 watercolor paper, but uh, make sure it is very, very dry. Voila. Okay, so this is the background we are painting. Now we take a look at the picture. Oh, already get some more comments. So we take a look at the picture and um, we have uh, uh, more white here actually. More light here and more white. Here. A bit more light. This is not good. It's even lighter than the center. It's not right. So you can add. Painting is about having fun. It's about not to be too stressed out. Do not be get yourself too stressed out. This is not perfect. We will cover it up with black branch. Don't worry. If it is not good, it's okay. It should be okay. Use the map. So in class, when students do their painting, I do my painting. And uh, maybe I'm a bad teacher because I do not take care of the student and I do, I enjoy my painting. But uh, enjoying painting is part of my job. I mean, um, when you set up the rules, when students know where to get their material, and uh, you can you can actually have a very enjoyable painting experience without. Okay, I will be just like this, and now we need black color for the branch. Okay, there is a lot of branch. We see one main branch here. So you first go along the main branch. We need black color and later on we will add in different green color. But uh, 
for now, let's just do the black. The branch. Good. I'm using this one up. I'm so happy. One of my biggest joy is to finish my color. So which brush do I use? We make sure we have some a particular color brush so that when we wash it will be easier. So we have some black. Now let's take a look at the tree here, not too far away. So we will have one right here. Okay, and then two in there. So the branch is zigzag and just turning around. Another branch here. You can take some freedom in your painting. Now I am just taking my freedom in the painting. Okay, so this is roughly the place for the branches. So when you see the tree, you know the branch is like this. It goes up and down and we should do another branch a little bit out of space. Okay, the rest is... I will not look. Okay, this one need to be much, much, much wider. And my color is a little bit dried. Now I need a new black color. Raw amber and magic black. Now I use magic black to begin with. And it got on my hand. So dirty. Just get the outline of the tree first. And some are covered up, it's okay. You want the line not straight because when you go to the mountain, when you go to 
nature you see the branch they are not straight they are ziku ziku niku nikang king they are not straight see they are not straight it's like a halloween drawing to my surprise but it's it's when we went to um the national uh, the, 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 the 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 henry core park and it's so dry it looks so haunted it looks quite a bizarre feeling actually it's just too dry have some directional change. We do not want to have uniform direction. That is not good. Mm -mm, too much, it's okay. Some should be thinner at time, but uh, for now we are not yet reaching that stage of the thinner branch. Now I do not even look at the, at the 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 picture because you need to find your own freedom, your own feeling in it. Okay, I think those are the branches. This should be the branches, the main branches we are talking about. Yes. Because the branch with much sunshine, it does not, it, it, the color is lighter. You want to make it lighter, the color, right? Okay, so now we will dab in the, the leaves. The leaves, if you take a, a closer look at it, there are some green in it, right? Can you see some green in it? So we will blend in green and uh, and uh, and black. Do we have green? <laughs> Fortunately, we have green. So we will have green and black. I'm sorry if in class I will be really not happy with students putting so much color and myself I am doing something so wrong. And you want to have a different kind of texture of brush, right? So this one we can have a different different head of Do not worry and uh, dab in the color. 
dab in the color that uh, randomly sometimes get green sometimes get black and then later on it will so this layer we do black next layer we can do we can do um, green don't worry and you cover up those branches it's okay it's not end of the world some green blend naturally and later on you will you will pay attention to where to put more black and where to put more green the green place are usually the uh, there is light there is less leaf there is more light so you will choose some places to put more green to make it um, yellow to make it yellow less leaf oh. and with the sunshine place it it should be lighter right so we will put more green does it make sense see you are covering up the imperfect background right more green This is a very, very much off. And then you may regret, gosh, all my effort for making those branches disappear. And that's about life. A lot of time you make effort and those efforts do not even show up. Don't worry, I have wasted some of the green because I will eventually find use for it. Don't worry. So here we want to make more green. And how about here? We make more green here. I am, a, my knowledge is not enough in, um, in showing up more of the colors this is just as much as I can more greens here and there You make sure everywhere has some green, somewhere has more green, somewhere has less green. Actually, we finished all the green and the black. We are doing quite a good job. Happy. So now we are working on some um, small details of the black and you want to have a small, let me see this, if this kind of branch, oh, this one is too, it's just too soft. Here and there. You want to see some strokes, not only. Yes. Drag it, drag it. 
Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, e, oh. Drag some of the small lines here. The branches. These are the branches. Okay, so here I think we need more leaves here, should be okay. More little branches here and there. Okay, I'm done with it. I am done with it. Peel it off. This is the moment of truth. Okay. You can always reuse this um, this uh, uh, tapes. So if you paint one time in your whole life, it's okay. You do not need. But if you paint, 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 paint. And uh, painting is kind of your career or is kind of your kind of the things that you do very, very often, then do not waste it and uh, make sure you reuse it. This is the second time I reuse it. Now I will reuse it three times. Our planet is full of uh, us that. Uh, that damaging the planet. So if we can damage it a little bit less, we are doing a contribution to the society. So usually in class, I do demo in 15 minutes, something. And uh, because one class is one hour or less than one hour, 15, 15 minutes, you will have uh, 10 minutes explain, call names, I mean take a roster and, uh, and all these things and explain and the set up material, each one set up workspace and all this takes time and until you really is able to paint there is only a few, uh, only um, 15 to 20 minutes that you can paint. You have to make it really efficient and effective and uh, do the job within this limited time. And um, that's the art teacher's uh, particular art teacher's uh, trade. And then finish your work. And then clean up five minutes before class finish. Clean up. This one we can use the next time. So here it is, good or bad. This one is my interpretation of. Uh, it's a little bit too thick at that part. Maybe I need to dab some uh, blue. Anyway, 